I am Mariam from Bestest News reporting live from Let's Mimba Concert where it's so chaotic and uncontrollable here. That's all for now. Back to studio. Oh my god, that's so scary. I hope all the victims are safe. Hmm, actually what is Cloud Crash? Huh? I want to find more about that. Every event organizer have their own target amount of crowd for the event. Having many attendees will describe how successful is the event. However, things can change in the blink of an eye if it's not under control. Anything can happen if there is no crowd control during the event. So, what is crowd control? It actually means the management of large crowd in order to prevent any unwanted incident from happening, such as crowd crash, fights and others. There are four points why crowd control is important. First, promote safety. First and foremost, in events where performers such as stage actors and musicians are going to be present, they also need extra security to prevent fans and other people in the audience from getting up on the stage and accessing restricted areas. Second, better organization. When an event is organized properly, people feel safe and the flow of food traffic makes the event more enjoyable. Third, pre-entry screenings. Security guards are employed at security checkpoints to check each attendee's bag to ensure that no dangerous items, weapons, or drugs are brought into the event. Fourth, prevent injury. Having crowds congregating when emotions run high could cause accidental injuries. Crowd control management keeps people safe by placing clear markers and signage to prevent anyone from getting hurt. Now, let's talk about the consequences of having poor crowd control in an event. One of it, it can lead to crowd crush. A crowd crush can occur when too many people push into a confined area either on the way in or trying to get out. People can get injury in crowd crush or the worst case is death. Moving crowds with a density of up to 4 people per square meter are safe because people have enough room to make decisions and move accordingly. But when the density is higher, at about 6 people per square meter, their bodies are jammed together so tightly that they can no longer choose where they go and they begin to behave like a fluid. Pressure waivers can travel through them and they lose control. As people pack in further and further, the pressure from all sides keeps your lung from inflating and deflating, which means you lose your ability to breathe. Another way we can get injured and die in a crowd is what's called progressive crowd collapse. So let's say you have a bunch of people crowded together in a high density of crowd and one of them falls down. That creates a hole in this crowd and the people who were formerly leaning against this person who just fell down start to fall down and so on and so forth. And a domino effect is created. Itaewon Halloween Festival Zoo On the night of 29 October 2022, a crowd crash occurred during Halloween festivities in Itaewon neighborhood of Seoul, South Korea. At least 158 people were killed and 196 others were injured. The victims were mostly young adults. Astro World Festival Taxes On November 5, 2021, a fatal crowd crash occurred during the first night of the 2021 Astro World Festival. It is a music event founded by American musician Travis Scott that was held at NRG Park in Houston, Texas. Eight people died on the night of the concert and two more died in the hospital over the following day. Kanjuruhan Stadium, Indonesia on 1st October 2022, a fatal human crash occurred following an association football match at Kanjuruhan Stadium in Malang Regency, East Java, Indonesia. Following a loss by homeside Arema to rivals Persebaya Surabaya, around 3,000 Arema supporters invaded the beach. How to avoid one and survive if you get caught by crowd crash? Firstly, not all exits once you're inside the venue so that you will be more aware if there is any incident happens. Emergency exits are important because they provide a clear, safe way in case of a crisis or disaster. Secondly, be aware and monitor crowd density and understand where crowd crash happens throughout that you will be more prepared for the crowd crash. Thirdly, 
use social media to alert other people if the event is overcrowded and get updated information about the crowd in the event. Next, if you find yourself in a crowd crush, make space around your chest as it protects your rib cage and lungs too so you can breathe properly. Besides that, do not scream or push each other because both can cause panic. Stay calm and conserve energy and oxygen. In addition, try to remain upright and avoid falling. This is so important. Once you fall, the chances you'll be stepped on by people are high. Please be aware of it. Therefore, avoid walls or any other barriers such as doorways, bridges, hallways or narrow spaces where the force of the crowd will be higher. Last but not least, go with the flow of the crowd rather than resisting pressure because it will reduce the pressure of the crowd crush. In conclusion, it is very important to have a proper crowd control to avoid any incident from happening. Lessons can be taken from past events and preparation in handling and attending events can be improved for future crowd handling process.